So how are we all bloody doing? So yeah, this is like a major update video. Uh, I went on a mad mission of sort of clearing out my garage. It's kind of like the uh, the basket headquarters, I like to call it. I kind of go in there, I pick what I kind of want for a video, and then I go and do it. And uh, lately it has just become mental. So we had to do that. We literally filled the van up, three lots, three trips to the tip. And uh, finally, it looks all right. But there's one thing that you might have noticed, one thing that wasn't sticking out like a sore ass, the Enduro isn't there. That's because uh, it is at Amp Cycle Works again. For the millionth time, he's fixing it, but also upgrading it. I wasn't gonna do it, but here goes the story. So once upon a time, I was saving up for a new downhill rig, but what kind of happened, the house happened, and we ended up spending more on the house than I first thought, so, uh, the downhill bike got put to the side. Started saving again after we bought the house. Suddenly, I needed a van because the car broke. So all my funds that I had for the bike went on the van. Fucking VAT bastards. See, that's a problem. You buy a van, you got paid a VAT. Pretty much the VAT was the money I had saved for my bike. So that was that again. Then I kind of started the whole Patreon thing. People kind of sponsoring my channel to kind of help me get along and, uh, Knowing full well that obviously straight away the Patreon thing ain't gonna pay for a whole new bloody bike. They paid for some forks. So for a sort of a month, I had the forks to sort of put on my BMXs and my monstrosities to keep the videos going. It worked quite nicely. But then I was saving again. Got a bit of money together, worked long hours, been working solid for the last 17 years. As soon as I left school, I started work, that was it, boom. But anyway, saved some money up. I had to have a little think about life, think about things. Do I want to fix the Enduro up again? I had no option. It was like, I got money there. It wasn't enough money to buy a kind of new bike, that's for sure. I started looking around the market of second-hand bikes, sent these bikes to my mate, Amp Cycle Works, and he was kind of like, you're best off chucking that money into your Enduro, and we just spruce it right up. So uh, he stripped the whole bike. We pretty much went over whatever got scrapped, got scrapped and whatever was claimable, we reclaimed. And uh, yeah, you'll see the bike in its full glory on, I think it's like Wednesday, Thursday. I'll obviously get the bill then as well, which is pretty hefty. And uh, I think the only thing we saved in the end, frame and rear shock, well, forks as well, but we had to change all the inners on it. So uh, on bar and stem. But yeah, there's a few things, basic things we was able to keep, but pretty much the wheels, the cranks, all that sort of thing, we had to change and uh, yeah. The Enduro is coming back to life again. And that is the reason why I started up that Patreon thing. To kind of help out with stupid things like that. And uh, what I'm going to do is do some sort of raffles through my Patreon page. So uh, my Patrons get charged on the first of every month. So a couple of weeks before the end of the month, I will do a sort of a raffle. And you'll win sort of BMX DVDs and BMX pegs. My own ones. I'll make some new ones up. And little palette coasters I'll also make up. And you'll be able to win this on kind of like the second of each month because obviously your money goes out on the first. And you can pretty much pay 90p a month to be a patron to this channel and sponsor this channel. It's as easy as that. And then you can sort of disappear whenever you want. It's literally one click to get out and stop it. And uh, you can literally come in the next few months. Like I say, I do little uh, giveaways. And uh, all you got to do is leave your name and address underneath the post that I'm going to put on my Patreon page. And then I'm going to pick three people very, very soon. And uh, I'll do the list in the next video of like what you're going to win. Like I said, it's going to be pegs, BMX DVDs, all sorts of madness. So, uh, yeah, that's that. Wish me luck on my mountain bike when it comes back. Luck. And uh, is this going to be the last time I do up that Enduro? I don't know. The Enduro is not worth anything to anyone else. And uh, I would never sell a bike to someone known as gone through a bit of hard times. <laughs> that in that is disgusting so yeah that's kind of that um if you go to amp cycle works the instagram is on the page now give them a like when the bike comes up say yes kirk you are the man that's what you gotta put yes kirk you are the man when he actually posts a picture of my bike in its full glory we were going to spray the bike but i couldn't be asked in the end it was too much money if you want to become a patron link is in the description below uh pinned it in the comments and you can kind of help me with that bill i suppose Keep it real out there. But anyway, on to other things. Whilst all that was happening, I dropped the bike in, did the garage and all that. 
me and Grace took a trip to a crazy looking spot. Someone messaged me ages ago. They sent me a picture of this crazy looking setup. Hold on the branch. Oh shit. Come on there, go Jack. Right, you right? Come on up you go. I think we found it, Grace. I don't know how safe this is. Seems all right. Holy crap, man. That needs chicken wire for sure. There's been another bit in there. Down off. Into like there. Oh my god. I've actually got some chicken wire at home that it definitely needs it because that is slippery as anything. But uh yeah, this hasn't been used in ages. There's no tire tracks anywhere. Oh my god. That looks so fun though. Just a gentle little drop in. You need to sort of trim that bush. Yeah. No, I'd love to go into that. Just needs that bush trimming. And you look at it from here, look, straight in there. Trim that bush and then round the corner. The berm looks a little bit sketchy, but yeah, this thing just needs a few more nails putting in it. Run some chicken wire over it. Ah? Uh, found a wheelbarrow. <laughs> So yeah, you come off the drop there into here. This berm looks sound. I mean, that log's a little bit weird, but comes around here. Like I say, it's, it looks like it's hardly been used. Look at the state of the berm. It's like prehistoric, green. Looks cool though. Get rid of that twig there. You can bring this back to life, so easy. Quick hour of work. Oh my God, that booter looks mental. Cool, yeah, that's a nice old double as well. Holy crap. That's a big old double as well. Straight across there, in, round. The jump's there. Landing's like there. But the landing's like massive. Goes all the way down. But like I say, it looks, looks like it's not been used. So yeah, that's the takeoff there. And the landing is like in there. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, that's what it looks like. I mean, this setup looks cool as hell coming down through here. Look at the seat of that jump. Look, where you're to, that's a landing, look. That's a gap there to jump. Yeah. So it's kind of like, yeah, take off there, land in there. And, uh, I mean, I think it's built all right. A little bit, bit of flex. But, uh, yeah, I'm not sure. I don't know. That one looks just sketchy to me. You reckon? Bit of chicken wire on it. Yeah, I'm actually loving this spot. Loving it. Like I say, this looks like really, really old and uh, kind of just sort of left. So you come bombing through there. That's a takeoff and the step up's up there. I mean, you can't even get up there. Wellies ain't great. Wellies are slippery. Oh my God. Looks a bit of a mess, but <laughs> oh my word. Just need some major TLC and this place would be epic. If I can get up it, it's so slippery, but oh. look at the gap, man. If you look from the side, it, it flicks up. Yeah. Sort of I think it's like doing a gap's fine, landing in's fine, is trying to stop around that berm because the berm ain't massive, but nice. I don't know, it's got a lot of flex to it. Cut some of them off so it's a bit more flat. Yeah, because this is sending you to the moon. It literally it flick, flicks up to you, I think. Yeah. No, I know what you're saying, it needs to be, if it was lower, yeah. and just send you, yeah, I know what you're saying, yeah. Just chop the legs down a little bit. Yeah. Well, see, I can't do that, see it's it, just like, But, see how high yeah. Okay, if you were to chop those legs down, sort of, even probably about a foot, because that is just like, boom. Yeah. Where you're going is like, overshooting to the moon. So but, smart. but these berms are incredible. Yeah, cool. They're packed in like, mental. Literally, like I said, they're like concrete. But like where hardly anyone's used it, they're not sort of rutted in and they just look like shiny. It's like someone's come through with a spade and kind of patted them right in, but I think it's just where no one's used it and it's just been able to sort of like it's pat itself in. That's what I'm saying, it's like wax. Random little jib bits that you could just mess around on. Well up for a session here. I'm surprised it got away with all the kind of like the man-made wood, but yeah. I mean look at this from here. You got like over that jump there, over, or where Grace stands, over, which I prefer that one there to be honest. That one there, yeah. It needs a little bit more mud because it looks a bit steep, but just a little kind of like popper over. Yeah. 
Yeah, they've been done properly. They've put okay. big old logs in behind and they've actually packed the dirt in like proper. You get stuck right in there. There's another little line that kind of comes up here. It's been like sort of closed off. Oh my God. It's like flicking you up instead of going like down. Would you want to be flicked up? That is cool. So yeah, me and Grace was out there in the pissing rain and uh, I was literally like buzzing, seeing all that, knowing my bike was getting fixed in the background. I feel a lot better about life. It's been a little bit depressing. Every time I walk to my garage, seeing my bike with all the bits hanging off it and stuff, even though it's been really fun riding the Barracuda, riding my BMX and all that stuff, I do love having like a decent mountain bike in there. So uh, when the weather gets really shit in that, I've got a bike I can kind of rely on. And uh, you know what it's like. It is very, very depressing when your bike breaks and you know it's going to be bloody expensive. It's like taking your car into the MOT when you know it's fucking wank. Do you know what I mean? And uh, that's kind of like the feeling when I took my bike to Amp Cycle Works. I don't think you wanted to take it in, first of all. So I was out there playing my violin. I was like, come on, help me, help me. And finally the police came and he had to let me in. So that was that. So uh, yeah, more updates on the bike as I get them through. And hopefully it kind of lasts a little bit longer next time. So uh, touch wood on that. But yeah, that mountain bike spot that I went to just needs a little bit of uh, TLC. A couple of screws here and there. Those wooden platform jumps and stuff look amazing. So I'm not too sure about that big jump. I have questioned it to the uh, the lads that dig up there. And uh, I was kind of saying, I think if you were to either chop it down, so it's a little bit lower, so it's not too aggressive, or get rid of the wooden structure and put in like a dirt kicker. So they got tools and stuff there and I'll happily donate some tools and stuff there. I've got some chicken wire I'll drop off as well. And uh, yeah, some of the gaps in that look amazing up there. So uh, I definitely want to go back when I get my enduro. So yeah, if you want to become sort of part of this kind of raffle thing where you get to win stuff each month, like I say, that is uh, pinned in the comments, link in the description. And like I say, it's literally 90p a month or you pay one off payment, 90p. And uh, you try and win something. If you don't win it, and you you don't win it. But uh, yeah, the first one's going to happen on the 2nd of July. It's going to be a bundle of DVDs and all sorts of goodies. And I'll post more on my Patreon page. And the only way you get to see the stuff on my Patreon page is if you become a patron. So uh, remember, Amp Cycle Works. Give him a thumbs up. Say, yes, Kirk, you are the man when he posts my bike. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this one. Thanks for watching. Oh, bye for now. And finally, I can ride a mountain bike again. I think I might actually do like a naked ride somewhere. Where do you reckon to? You're not putting that in. You are not putting that in. That is disgusting.